Every human life begins with a moment of release. A pulse, a wave of chemistry and motion too brief to see, yet powerful enough to create. This is male ejaculation, one of biology's most primal reflexes, yet still misunderstood. For centuries, it was seen only as reproduction, the body's mechanism for life's continuation. But behind that simple act lies an astonishing choreography of muscles, hormones and nerves, a sequence unfolding in less than 10 seconds. Inside the male body, hundreds of millions of sperm wait in silence, cells built for one purpose, to find an egg. Their journey begins with a single command from the brain. In that instant, everything changes. Heart rate spikes, the sympathetic nervous system takes control, and the entire body unites in perfect rhythm. Glands swell, ducts constrict, and a cascade of contractions propels life itself forward. Yet ejaculation is more than biology. It's communication the language of intimacy, relief, and evolution's design. It bridges two worlds, pleasure and purpose. What truly happens in those few seconds of release? How does the brain orchestrate something so instinctive, yet so emotional? And why does evolution make it feel so powerful? Let's go inside to witness how the male body turns tension into creation. Before release comes a long preparation, a story almost no one ever thinks about. What if the real miracle of ejaculation begins days, even months earlier? The story of ejaculation begins long before release. Deep within the testes, two restless organs working endlessly. Every second, they create thousands of sperm, each carrying half the genetic code of a new life. Over 70 days, these cells mature within the seminiferous tubules, nourished and shaped by hormones. Then they enter the epididymis, a long coiled passage that trains and stores them until the brain sends the signal to move. Arousal triggers that signal. Neural impulses surge down the spinal cord, activating the sympathetic system. Dopamine and oxytocin flood the brain, sharpening focus and heightening desire. Blood fills the corpora cavernosa, turning soft tissue into a structure of pressure and precision. Meanwhile, the reproductive glands prepare their contributions. The seminal vesicles store nutrient-rich fluid to feed and protect sperm. The prostate adds a milky secretion that stabilises pH inside the female body. Even the tiny bulbo-urethral glands release clear lubrication to smooth the way. Every structure tunes itself like instruments before a symphony. Then comes the threshold, the emission phase. Smooth muscles of the prostate and vesicles contract, blending sperm and fluids into semen. The mix collects in the urethral bulb beneath the bladder, waiting for the final signal. At this moment, the male body becomes an orchestra led by the spinal cord, a reflex so precise that even the brain cannot stop it once it begins. The system is primed, the storm of release is seconds away. What happens inside the body at the exact second of climax? The answer is more explosive and more coordinated than most people imagine. A single pulse races down the spinal cord, igniting one of the most synchronised reflexes in nature. Deep in the pelvis, the vas deferens, twin muscular ducts, contract in rhythmic waves, pushing millions of sperm toward the urethra. The seminal vesicles open, releasing thick, fructose-rich fluid, fuel for the long journey ahead. The prostate pulses, adding its milky alkaline secretion that activates and protects sperm. These fluids swirl into semen, a complex living solution of energy and motion. 
Then comes expulsion, the climax. Pelvic floor muscles contract explosively, each wave lasting less than a second, repeating every 0.8 seconds. Semen is propelled outward with remarkable force, sometimes up to 45 kilometers per hour. Inside the brain, a mirrored storm unfolds. Electrical activity lights up the limbic system, hypothalamus and nucleus accumbens, centers of reward, emotion and desire. The amygdala quiets. The prefrontal cortex, seat of logic, briefly shuts down. For a moment, there is no thought, only sensation. Dopamine and oxytocin flood the system. Endorphins dull pain and flood the body with warmth. The world narrows to pulse, breath and release. In perfect timing, the internal urethral sphincter closes to prevent semen from flowing backward, nature's built-in safeguard. Every contraction, every signal, serves a single purpose – precision. Yet beyond this biological choreography lies surrender, the body's transcendence of thought. The reflex is ancient, but the experience is deeply human. When the final contraction fades, stillness returns. Blood drains from tissues, muscles relax, and calm spreads through the nervous system. In seconds, balance is restored, a brief storm echoing the rhythm of life itself. What does the body do the moment after release? Here's the part almost no one talks about, the quiet shockwave that follows the storm. Moments after release, time slows. The body softens, heart steadies, breath deepens. Inside the brain, chemistry shifts from urgency to serenity. During orgasm, dopamine surges, lighting up the same reward centres that respond to music, laughter and love. Then, just as swiftly, dopamine drops, replaced by prolactin, signalling satisfaction and completion. The parasympathetic system takes over, restoring calm. Blood retreats, tissues soften and energy turns inward. Yet even in this quiet, oxytocin lingers, deepening trust and emotional connection. It's the same hormone that bonds mother and child, proving that even in release, tenderness endures. From an evolutionary view, ejaculation is nature's perfect design, a reward ensuring reproduction. Without pleasure, life's continuity would falter. But for humans, it means more. It's not just a biological discharge. It's a moment of letting go, where control dissolves and self-awareness fades into pure existence. For a heartbeat, body and mind become one. Afterward comes silence. Clarity for some, sleep for others. But always peace. The body finds stillness not in tension, but in release. In that pulse of surrender, the male body echoes the oldest rhythm of the cosmos, creation through letting go. Why does a few seconds of release feel so meaningful? Because ejaculation tells a bigger story, one written into the history of every human being. Every release tells an ancient story, written in heartbeat and breath. For a few seconds, the male body performs a ritual older than words, the transformation of tension into creation. Ejaculation isn't merely the end of arousal. It's the body's reminder that life flows through us, relentlessly, beautifully. Each release echoes evolution's first command, continue. But beneath biology lies something deeper, a message about being human. It is energy changing form, from desire to peace, drive to calm.
a physical reflection of every emotion's final goal. Release. For a moment, boundaries blur, the mind quiets, tension dissolves. It's the body's way of healing, a natural rhythm of build, release and restore. Even without reproduction, the act balances hormones and resets chemistry. In the stillness after climax, serotonin and oxytocin spread warmth and trust. Pleasure may begin the reflex, but connection completes it. Evolution understood this long before we did. Pleasure keeps life moving forward. Perhaps that's why it feels so profound. Not because it creates life, but because it reminds us we are alive. Every heartbeat, every pulse, every sigh carries that rhythm first born in the stars. Ejaculation, then, isn't an ending. It's continuation. A bridge between instinct and consciousness, between body and soul. In that fleeting silence after release, the body whispers the universe's oldest truth. You are part of the story. And when stillness returns, it isn't emptiness. It's harmony. The body's quiet way of saying, you have lived. Subscribe to explore more stories hidden beneath the skin. From the pulse of the heart to the spark of desire. From the chemistry of emotion to the miracle of life. Because here, every episode isn't just about biology. It's about being human.